Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This time we're going to be discussing Atomic PvP and the loadout and how to use it. It's a great loadout, does a lot of damage and that's pretty easy to use. Alright, so let's take a look at the power trees. Radioactive, you're going to spec all the way down to atom powered assault, Geiger beam, and get electron flare. And the nuclear tree, you're going to open up the tree with fracture, spec all the way down to density. Now as far as your iconic powers go, you're going to get Tactical Genius and Weapons Expert and have one poor power point left over. It's important to note that with that power point, you can uh, go ahead and yeah, choose another iconic power, like Nano Weave Armor. Or in the Radioactive Tree, if you decide to run a Breakout, which gains you some life, you can get Unleash Antimatter or energizes a supercharge, just depends on your playstyle, but the current loadout doesn't run them now. So it's just a, you know, it's an ease to have that in there, so in case you want to change something up. And speaking of the current loadout, we're going to be running Irradiate, Atom Powered Assault, Proton Remedy, Geiger Beam, Electron Flare, and Density. Electron Flare can be swapped out for Particle Beam, it still uh, takes advantage of the day's PI, and it's a range move. So, just in case you're going to be running range, this one's the melee one, this one's the one I prefer. Now, Irradiate's the one that activates your dazed PI, and dazes your enemies. It stuns them for a while, and uh, Electron Fair takes advantage of that and deals additional damage. And that's basically how you're going to start off your fight. You're going to clip Irradiate with your buff, and go into... Electron Flare next. Now depending on how the fight goes, you're either going to use your next power uh, to go aggro with uh, Irradiate or another Electron Flare, but probably Irradiate will be the one that will be up. If you need to go defensive, you can go into Proton Remedy or Density, just depends on the state of the game. And then you'll probably finish off at that stage of the fight with Geiger Beam, which is your 35% to massive damage. It's a real simple loadout, it does a lot of damage, um, you know, it includes a shield, it already has a breakout just in case you need to add one with neutrino blast. I mean, you can try the the, the combo powers, but it, you get interrupted way too much, so you're just better off running the day's PI and uh, this type of loadout right now. As you can tell in the videos previously shown, um, where I uh, do, do some of the slow motion stuff, you can uh, go ahead and see these in action, you know, and uh, see, see how they stun the enemy and uh, what kind of damage they do. And well, as I said before, you know, you're going to start it off uh, with the radiate clipped with atom powered assault. Um, then you're going to probably use an electron flare here or there, it just depends how you, you fight. Then, depending on the fight, either Proton Remedy or Density and finish them off with Geiger Beam. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in action. So here we go, we're starting off a fight. Do some weapon attacks. Clip Irradiate with your buff. You see the double ticks there. Just depending on how the fight goes, you can either go with Proton Remedy or Density. And finish them off with the Geiger Beam. Alright, so it's important to note that Irradiate can be clipped with Atom Powered Assault, Proton Remedy, and Density, as can Electron Flare. Also important to note is that Electron Flare will do additional damage if Irradiate is applied because Irradiate stuns and dazes them. See the double tick? And the second tick with from Electron Flare is doing additional damage. Now Electron Flare will only hit about mid-range. So if you're out about this distance, it's not going to go ahead and hit. But it is an AoE, so if you're within a group and you're doing damage, everybody's going to take a, a tick damage. And overall, it's just an excellent loadout. It's uh, it's fast. It's quick. It, it it's easy to you know perform with, and 
you know so i, I suggest you try it out tell me what you think and uh please like comment and subscribe and come back for another video later on take it easy y'all